Body Image I understand how my body works and that I am unique. I have to draw myself on this paper. Why don't you draw a frame for your paper? Slide Walk Climb Walk Remember that you are very special. Use the whole surface of your paper. Draw yourself to fit the page. She is so excited, she jumps in the air from hearing this assignment. She's going to teach us about left and right. Left and right orientation. I know where is my left side and where is my right side of my body. Let's look to the front. Show me your left arm. And now your left leg. Where's your right arm? And your right leg? You are getting so clever. The left side and the right side of your body can never change. You can't just switch around. Look to the front. Shake the left side of your body. Shake the right side of your body. Look again. Look to the front. Show me your left hand. And now your right hand. Turn around. Can you see that the blue ribbon is still on your left side and the red ribbon on your right side? It can never change. But you are going to look at the paper. Remember, if you look at the paper, then this is your left side. And this is the right side. How can I draw myself? Now that you know where is left and where is right, we can start drawing our bodies. It is very easy. We use shapes to draw our bodies. Remember, you are very special. Use the whole surface of the paper to draw your body. Here we go. An oval for your head. Rectangle for your neck. The parts of your body are all joined together. That's why you have to draw all the shapes together. Oval for your body. Your legs are divided into two parts, upper leg and lower leg. Upper left leg, lower left leg, upper right leg. Lower right leg. Left foot. 
right foot. Now you need some arms. Upper left arm. Lower left arm. Upper right arm. Lower right arm. Left hand. And your right hand. I know you want to see, smell, taste and listen. Let me show you how easy it is to draw your face. Remember that you've drawn your head as an oval. Divide the oval into quarters. Quickly have a look in the mirror. Can you see that your eyes are also ovals? Your eyes doesn't sit on your forehead. Your eyes are placed in the middle of your face. Is your one eye bigger than the other one? Absolutely not! Let's draw our eyes the same size. Does your nose sit on your chin? No way! Your nose is between your eyes. Let's draw a triangle. Let's draw your mouth. You are very friendly. Smile! We have an upper and a lower lip. Do you hear this often? Are you sitting on your ears? I hope not. Now we are going to draw our ears. Your ears are next to your head in line with your eyes. Both the same size. Now you can draw some hair. Your hair hangs loosely over your forehead. You can let your eyes and your mouth look more realistic. Color your body ever so slightly. You're no ghost that anybody can look through. You definitely need some clothes. Jacket or a shirt. Trousers or a skirt. Shoes. Hair. Now you can make your eyes and your mouth prettier. Draw some lashes and eyebrows. Draw something nice in the background. Fantastic! Now I'm going to show you that you can draw yourself in different ways. You can move your body, can't you? Body image. We know how every part of our bodies are put together. And each part can move. You can draw yourself so that your arms, legs and body moves in different directions.
Look at this colorful fish. If you look to the side of a fish while it's swimming, you will see only one eye. And if you turn to your side, other people will only see one eye and one ear. Your nose will be right in the front of your face. Imagine you see two eyes if the fish turns to its side. That will look weird. You will also look a bit weird to people if they watch you from the side and they see two eyes and two ears. We are all different. It doesn't matter where you live, who you are, or what your color is. Our hearts are all the same. We must respect, love, care, and have patience towards our fellow human beings.